Haitians arrive as tourists in other countries and don't leave. Instead of staying in their forever whole country and fix it, they prefer to invade other countries in Latin America, posing as tourists and become parasites. Alright, let's get into the video! So, I like to hold my comments on review. I don't want people saying outlandish, just outright racist things underneath my grandmother's video. So, I like to hold those comments for review. Any other video, I don't care. You can say whatever you want. So, that means pretty much I read. <laughs> All the comments. There have been times where I've just accepted comments because I was just too lazy to go through all of them. There are, let me just tell you right now, as of today, March 4th, this video has 161,000 views. <laughs> go grandma! <laughs> there are 1,300 comments underneath that one video. Let's start with the bad comments because they're just fun to read and 99% of the time there are typos and it makes it even funner to laugh at somebody who's trying to diss you. There are a bunch of errors when they type which essentially just makes the entire thing funny. All right so I have screenshotted some comment from Salto del Puma. Next comment. Mm. Your mouth is wide and huge with big, huge. Oh, wait, wait, there's a space there. Your mouth is wide and huge with big, huge lips, and your lips are white. <laughs> wow. I don't know about you, but I love what's going on over here. Huge. Big, big lip, big, huge lips. I don't think they're white. I mean, I feel like my teeth are white, but my lips are like a different color, so I don't know. So this one was kind of... Uh. Dominicans and Haitians are basically cousins. What is just more mixed with Iberian blood? The African blood is what unites them. It's just a lot of the white <laughs> kissing Dominicans that don't like that fact. Not saying all Dominicans are like that, but way more than enough are. <laughs> Most Dominicans view Spain as their motherland. Haitians don't view France as their motherland. They kick the French <laughs> out and sadly they are still paying for it today. Open parentheses, Europeans are haters, comma, lol, close parentheses. So, like I said, people just like to, you know, people just have strong opinions about things and they like to leave it under my video. So, nine replies. Someone said lol. Someone said, but Dominicans hate Haitians. They are haters big time. Facts. Ha ha ha. Please don't tell the Dominicans that. It's like a national pride to deny any African ancestry. No, we are not basically cousins. I'm a Dominican and Spain is the motherland. Half of my DNA comes from Spain and I'm not a native to the island of Hispaniola. So, of course, Spain is the motherland. Haitians have around 90% African blood, while Dominicans have 30%. Pretty sure that is not the case for all Dominicans. And I've definitely seen Ancestry DNA videos, 23andMe videos from Dominican people, and no, they don't have 30%. It's just like, I feel like when people say that, they're like boxing all Dominicans into like one category. So you say Dominicans mixed? Well, that's all we needed. Also, do you read Haitians are 95% African, Dominicans are 75% mixed with about 58% European. How can we be cousins? Are you a new kind of slow? 
You know, these comments are just so mean. <laughs> Why are people not all, God. The whole Dominican and Haitian kind of thing. I think I need to do like a separate video talking about this because it's just like a whole bigger kind of issue. Like I'm not even 95% African. So I think people just take numbers and they just say like numbers aren't everything. Haitians have African ancestry in them. So do Dominicans. End of story. I feel like why are people so why are, why don't people want to have African DNA in them? Like that's like the best. Okay, let me stop. But like I feel like you should be proud to have African in you. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. A large number of Dominicans try to identify with the oppressor, but the oppressor let them know quickly that they are not the same, only the, the language is similar, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. You know, like, I'm not reading these comments to make anybody feel bad. I'm just bringing awareness to this kind of separation. Like, this is, I didn't make the video to start these kind of arguments. But anyways, um... So this is like the best comment from the video. I think it got the most likes. Literally, I think the very first comment from this girl, India T. Your grandmother is adorable. You know, like I thought it was cute for so many people to think my grandma's adorable. And this one is from Eric Sanchez. Queen, your skin is beautiful. <laughs> 318 likes, aw, thank you, Eric. So this other comment I felt like definitely, definitely sparked a lot of conversation. Um, so this guy said, most of the Africans who were brought to what is now Haiti were from Dahomey. I don't know if I'm spelling, I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. What is now called Benin. The other huge part came from the Congo. Yes, I knew that already. I think a lot of people knew that. I responded and said, I've also seen Haitians with large percentages from Ghana, Nigeria, and Kenya as well. And there's just a bunch of other comments that are just in the conversation. Um, I think it's funny that like, a lot of arguments happen from these comments. It's just kind of ridiculous. I'm African and I swear you look like a real Senegalese. What was so interesting was that I got so many comments from people saying that I look Senegalese. And a lot of these people were African and I think they were also Senegalese. So it was so funny to me that I don't even have not 1% of Senegalese DNA in my blood. I need to meet somebody who's actually from there because I don't really know anybody who's from there. The only person I know is Akon. <laughs> and I don't think I look like Akon. Let's see a side-by-side -side picture. <laughs> okay. To me, your grandmother looks Latino and no African ancestry. But what do I know? Really? Are we really... Are we really doing this? Really? Really? Who cares about your DNA? You look very black. That was one of the funniest. It's like, oh, so I have to look racially ambiguous for you to care about my DNA. Huh. Very interesting. You know, I don't expect anybody to care about my DNA. I'm just sharing the results. Like, you don't have to watch the video. Oh, this was also another comment that got a lot, a lot, a lot replies. Um. There was a lot of, I feel like there was like tension coming out through the screen. It was getting heated. Nina Preciosa said, by the way, Haitians and Brazilians are Latinos, just not Hispanics. In the video, you were talking of Latinos descent as if it were a race. Latino and Hispanic is not a race, babe. <laughs> Are Afro-Colombians not Latino or Hispanic just because they are black? Like I said, Latino slash Hispanic is not a race. You can be Afro-descendants and still be 100% Latino or Hispanic. And then, 
someone strongly said Haitians are not Latinos. I think I'm gonna make a separate video about this are Haitians Latinos kind of debate going on. I actually did a poll on my personal Instagram account and I asked, and I have a pretty large amount of Haitian followers, so I asked them if they consider themselves Latino and only two of them said yes. Everybody else said no. <laughs> so it's so interesting that some people who aren't even Haitian say we're Latino, some people who are Haitian say we're Latino, people who aren't Haitian say we're not Latino, and people who are Haitian say we're not Latino. So I guess it's just whatever you identify yourself as, right? Nobody can tell you that you're something you don't identify with. I'll do a video on that. But that was a really heated one. What else? I love that you and your grandma did these tests and compared results. Your grandma is just so, so sweet. I love that we did it too. Um, it was really fun to compare the results and see like, ooh, maybe I got this from her. Maybe I got that from my other side of the family. So it was pretty cool, pretty sweet. Another thing that I re really loved was finding out about like my cousins who I didn't even know were cousins. Like some of them left comments under my video. Like that I think is awesome to me. Like people can really find their relatives through Ancestry DNA. The only thing is that their relatives had to have taken it. You remind me of Wendy Joseph, another beautiful Haitian YouTuber. Oh my god! When I saw that comment, I lost it because I love Wendy Joseph. Oh my god, she is stunning. You know, I always did think we had kind of like a resemblance, but you know, when it's like you saying you look like somebody else, it usually isn't the case, but it's cool that somebody else thought we look like. <laughs> what? This comment, like, really throws me off. Not lying, your grandma looks like Cardi B. <laughs> She's beautiful. My opinion is that you should ask your parents to do a DNA test too, so you can do a comparison with your parents' DNA results with your grandmother and your DNA results. Yeah, they don't want to do that. <laughs> but I did have my sister do one. I brought it for her for Christmas. I keep asking her if she wants to do like a YouTube video. Um, we do have similar results, but there are a few countries she doesn't have that I have and vice versa. I'm surprised that her Europeans slash non-African DNA is only like 15 to 20%. She looks like a typical mixed Dominican who for the most part tends to have a higher percentage of native and Europe ancestry. <laughs> I don't know why people like have it in their mind that if you look a certain way, you have to have this amount of European DNA in you or this amount of African DNA in you. like. Seriously, Africans come in all different skin tones, different hair types, even in West Africa. Not everybody in West Africa has the same skin tone or hair type. Um, I think people don't realize that. Like, Africa is huge. It's a very huge continent. Like, come on, people. It's just interesting because there are people who have a white mom, black dad, and you would think they're just completely black. Like you would never think they have white in them. Or there are people who look like they could be mixed and they're not. So it's just like, there's just a lot of ignorance in this world. <laughs> oh my God, this comment. Must be nice to be so stunningly beautiful, uber intelligent, and effervescently pleasant of personality. Black ain't just beautiful no more. It's gorgeous. Thank you. Ancestry what? Oh yeah, that too. Ja bless, little sis. <laughs> Aw, thank you, Tony Hodge. That was a really sweet comment.
So basically there was a woman who sent my aunt a picture of my grandmother's father. Bizarre. Um, my aunt sent it to my mom who showed me and I got to see what my great grandpa looks like. It was insane because as soon as I looked at it, I just completely saw my grandmother. That's him. That's him and she just looks so much like him. It's crazy to me, especially in the eyes. I feel like I probably we would have never seen that picture if it wasn't for the video. I think it was cool. I feel like I also learned from your comments as well. Sam people in Africa also have Orientals, so her eyes might not necessarily come from Asia, but Africa. Um, yeah, I saw a couple of comments that said Sam people in Africa have like those slanted eyes. For me, like I didn't know that, so it was cool to learn. To learn more about like my great grandparents was a really interesting experience and I felt like this whole experience made me ask more questions and just learn more about my grandparents and their lives in Haiti, what they were like and everything like that. You're fine. I'm glad you discovered some things about grandma and overall family. I did mine last year. It was definitely an eye-opening experience. Definitely. I'm really happy that I did this even though there's like a lot of skepticism about it but I think the larger picture here is that I was able to learn more about my family. That's pretty much it. Hmm, all these videos really prove that color is just skin deep. Just want to thank everybody who left sweet comments. I know I didn't reply to everybody's comments so I wanted to thank you all. They were actually really lovely comments. Um, and I'm glad you think my grandma is sweet. I'm gonna show her your comments. <laughs> she can't read them. Well, she does speak a little bit of English and can understand a little bit, but you know what, I can translate it for her. So I'm sure she'll be very happy to hear. I'll probably um, record her reaction and include it in this video. <laughs> Hi, Gamma. Hi, Ben Shishi. <laughs> so, somebody said, I think your 93 year old grandma is such a pretty woman. Can you tell her that? Oh, tell her somebody said that to her. Gamma, this is Gamma Kidzi or son bel, son bel madame. Non bel vidi, ça. Gamma Kidzi or son bel madame. Your grandmother is adorable. Mm. Mama, we are not adorable. <laughs> 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 That's it for the video, you guys. Peace and peace only. <laughs> I love this comment. We are all stardust.